today it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm I'm playing with Wireshark version 2 and noticed a very interesting behavior that you should be aware of so you don't get caught like I just did and wonder why things aren't working out so simply if I go to capture and I'll go to options you should always go to options first because this is the uh, interesting little behavior the new version of Wireshark will actually remember any capture filters you have and if you had any packet slicing as I have here 120 bytes it remembers that so you should I guess just delete your capture filter if you don't want it just manually delete it uh, the interesting part is the snap length you see how it says default that's what it was and I changed it to 120 well if you try to type default because you want default this is me typing and it's not doing anything because the letter D is not a number it needs a numeric field so you can either um, type the packet length if you know what it happens to be and you can make it bigger than a regular packet for example 2000 bytes on Ethernet 10100 the maximum length 1518 but you could actually put 2000 in there if you like uh, or if you come up in your click a default field um, double click sorry you can actually copy that value and then just come down here and paste that value and now it's in there so if you click close and I go back to my capture options capture yeah see there it is so it's 65k now so that's interesting that uh, with the new version of Wireshark it remembers the last thing you have configured uh, and if you just start up Wireshark and start capturing packets you may wonder why you don't see what you should see and this is probably why there you go have a good day bye for now